Hi friends, Soft Illusion is back with a new tutorial on integration of camera on a custom robot. This camera is mounted on a slider and a rotary joint. Let's start with a quick replay before the stepwise tutorial begins. So do stay tuned till the end. If you have not seen how to make the robot, the linear joint and the rotary joint, do watch videos of this playlist. So today we are going to integrate a camera on this rotary joint. So now we will have live streaming of images as the robot moves and as the linear actuator or rotary actuator moves. I think many of you are excited and have smiles on your faces but because when there is camera and robotics, it's fun. So let's start the video. First of all, we will add a camera link on this link. So we will go to robot, we will go to slider joint because this is the parent joint inside slider joint. We will go to the hinge joint because this is the hinge joint. In hinge joint, we will go to the end point. In end point, which is solid, we have a child named shape. So this ocular yellow slender is a shape which is in hinge joint. So now, after this shape, I can add a camera. So now we have added a camera. If you see, these are the parameters of camera. Let's name the camera as what do we name? Let's name it as cam. And now we don't need to have translation and rotation because we are going to use this component as camera. So if I take the camera out, this will be the edge of camera. And if you are making a real robot and want to fix a camera with respect to some link, you can add your translation and rotation simultaneously. So now in terms of camera, we are ready. There are many other options like width, height, field of view. We'll look into some of the options soon. So now let's edit our controller. So in controller, we first of all include the camera.hpp because that is the library API which connects VBots to the visualization of camera. So these are the camera parameters where we have a pointer cm. I don't think we need this get image anymore. Let's make a pointer cm for camera. This is pretty much similar in spirit to making motor, making a GPU, GPS, or making IMU. So after that, we assign the pointer the name of camera. In our ca case, it is cam what we just now named. So now we connected this camera with this controller and we will get feed of images every 64 milliseconds. So my time step is 64. So I pass in time step. So my camera is enabled every 64 milliseconds. So this is all about camera. There will be different stream of services if you want to publish this message to ROS topic. So you can look into documentation of VBOTS where they teach you how to publish a service where you can publish your image 
on a raw topic if you didn't understand what i just told it's fine for that you need to know ross so this was about camera we just in included a link and we included these three lines let's compile it and always i forget let's save it first save let's save it as camera replace will compile it and we'll start it oh it's not able to detect our cam device so if such case occur to you i think it is because sometimes you need to reset the environment so when i click on reset environment and we'll double check that have we given the camera name correctly so in endpoint in children in hinge joint in device in children camera is cam perfect so now if we play we can see the image and we can even rotate the camera view but can you see this has a blur image and also the axis of camera is shifted because we need the camera to be straight so if such conditions occur we can go in camera node and we can have rotation about x axis i suppose 0 by 1.57 no it's not x axis it should be z axis yeah exactly see we got our image correct and now to increase the resolution of our image we can specify the number of pixels which are given here so we can increase this to 640 let's do it 10 times and height to be 640 so these are the changes we did let's do field of view to be 1 so we can see a bigger thing we will save these parameters yeah and we'll reset it and let's see what happens again and when we play you can see the clarity of image has changed because it was 64 uh, pixels initially now it's 640 pixels so once your camera is made you can pretty much do many things with this there are many other options you need to look into it so you can change the focus you can zoom you can use it for recognition and if you have a real application where Uh, you have a camera and you want to uh, have the same parameters of your camera you can even use lens flare to change the parameters so this was all about camera and it feels like you are actually driving a robot so i would definitely tell you to try this and you see i am riding the camera so you can even do this so this is a field of view of our camera if you integrate any more sensors let me know so this is all about how to integrate and camera and feel as if you are sitting on a robot thank you and enjoy making this and even share we have an instagram handle named soft illusion so if you make such robots do share it on instagram thank you